the word humanist really is the essence of who we all are. Um, our temporariness, our the gift of life, um, the moments of being, and what we do individually and collectively in this period of time that we're given. Uh, and, and having empathy and, and humility and, and, dare we hope, kindness uh, to others that are no different than we are. Uh, we're all the same. We're all sisters and brothers living on this only place that we can live, and that's this planet. And so, as a humanist, I, I, I put all other emotions, um, no sense of control, uh, for the greater understanding, dare I hope, even for myself, but for all of us, um, to put balance in, in what has become a very unbalanced world. That's a really good question, Anna. The, the, when, when we look at, uh, or when I, but really I would imagine most photographers, uh, when, when a publication like National Geographic calls me, they're going to call me because the, the issue or the story or the topic connects to what I'm engaged in, what I'm aware of. I'm not going to have an assignment that's on... Uh, you know, harp seals uh, uh, in the Arctic or or, um, or uh, to climb Mount Everest. Uh, that isn't what I do. Um, so they're, they're going to, uh, they're intelligent, they're, they're very smart, and all publications are pretty much this way. Uh, and they're going to find a, a sort of a pairing of, the, of, a, of a topic and, and pair it with, with, with uh, XYZ photography. Um, and when I get that call, or and I also propose stories to the magazine as well, uh, but let's say in this case I just got a phone call a month and a half ago for a, a, a new National Geographic story that I'm, I'm actually working on and, and did work on here in Armenia. Uh, I can give you the, the topic of it. It's it called Us and Them. Uh, it's, it's a look at our uh, society and how we don't interact and interact with each other. It's a, It's a... It's a, a very humanist story, uh, very humanist, which is probably why that they, they, they called me on this. Um, and, uh, and no, there, there's no set interpretation that's given to me. There's an there's a overarching theme, overarching understanding, <clears throat> excuse me, and uh, a, a, a topic, us and them, how we, how we interact globally. So this is a global story probably going to be 10, 12 countries. Uh, uh, so I have to lace together uh, in, in sort of the links of a chain, uh, one long narrative. Um, and uh, they don't, the editors that I work with, in this case, uh, Vaughn Wallace, uh, first time I've ever worked with him, but he's a brilliant editor. I know him. Uh, I, I almost spiritually connect to him. Uh, he's a very kind soul. Uh, and they give... Um, no interpretation of how we should interpret the story. Uh, they thankfully trust us to to drive the narrative, the storytelling. We do interact together. We talk a lot. Uh, uh, in in this case, because it's a very large uh, story, uh, quite complicated. I, I even uh, went to Washington D.C. a few weeks ago to meet with Vaughn uh, to to dialogue uh, with him for a day. Uh, we've had countless emails and phone calls, um, and it is the photographer, in this case uh, myself, uh, who, who puts together the, the communicating links of this narrative uh, to tell a story visually using photography and film. I also do a lot of audio. Um, and, and the end result is the interpretation, yes, uh, of, I guess, of how I see it. Uh, um, uh, but not how I see it under the basis of me. I always try to remove myself. Uh, uh, I, I put myself beside myself. Sometimes I, I like to even put myself as far behind myself as I can because the story isn't about me. It's a, it's a story that's about all of us. Uh, and and the, these, these projects are quite long. Uh, this will be eight to ten weeks. Uh, again, multiple countries. Um, 
and, uh, and, and, and then we go through this very layered process of editing at National Geographic. We'll do what's called a midway edit, uh, so halfway through the story. I think the deadline is until early um, 2018, maybe late, later December of this year. Uh, and we'll do a midway edit. We'll see where the story is going and where it's flowing, how it's feeling, what's we're missing. You're, you're, you're dialoguing with incredibly intelligent, talented people. Uh, who are, are true artists at the at the art and passion of, of editing and photography, uh, and uh, and then I'll go back out in the field and, and, and do more for the story. And you watch, uh, and this is a, a sort of I say this quite a bit when I teach workshops and, and, and talk to people because it really is the what it is. The cream uh, rises to the top. The 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 narrative, the dialogue, the visual dialogue. Um, begins to surface and, and, and permeate. Uh, and then we go into a layout. Uh, so the editing process, I'm involved in the editing process with, with, with these brilliant editors. And I'm even involved in the layout of, of the final piece in the magazine. So I'm, uh, there, there's no, back to your original question, because it's, it's, it's very layered. Uh, there's no direct um, uh, uh, statement to, to me that this is what you must uh, create, and therefore this is the, the dialogue, the visual dialogue. The dialogue presents itself uh, to, to, to me by myself engaging in it, but also letting go and, and letting it flow towards me and, and, dare I hope, a little bit through me. Uh, but the end result is a, is, a, is a walk through a very unique, sometimes troubling, sometimes disturbing, uh, sometimes beautiful uh, forest uh, that that brings together the the final completed project. Well, the steps that that I try to take to put these stories together um, are steps, oftentimes not in any set one direction. Um, uh, again, there's there's a, the overarching title. Or, or theme, or the, the narrative um, topic of the story. Uh, and you, you, you research, there's a, there's a tremendous amount of research, uh, a lot of reading, uh, a lot of referencing, a lot of seeing what sticks. Uh, uh, in this case, uh, I don't have it here, uh, but when I, 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 the magazine seems to call me often on these very large global stories. Um, because I guess there's a certain comprehension that I can put to it to, to, to put together very large overarching themes in a, in a very wide geographic footprint and hopefully, dare I, dare I hope, put it in a, in a in, in context of understanding, distilling complex narratives. And um, so I, I really try to go with, with not a tremendous amount of information. I don't want to be bogged down with too much analytic, analytical understanding. Uh, I, I, I like the academic side of it. I, I love the research side of it. There's weeks of research. There's even a budget for research. Um, and, uh, uh, and, and then I try to just jump and leap into it. I, I, uh, 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 for example, coming here to Armenia, uh, I, I knew a bit of the, the narrative that I wanted to, uh, to try to explore here on, on ethnic minorities uh, uh, who, have, who have come here to Armenia uh, and also uh, regions of, of this part of the Caucasus that, that are in flux uh, and under pressure. Um, but I didn't know what I was going to expect. Uh, and I, 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 I like to expect the unexpected, to, to actually expect nothing. To, to, to be thankful what presents itself and uh, to be accepting of what doesn't present itself uh, because not everything does. Uh, and so that, that's where uh, for when, we, when we do this event in Porto, uh, which I'm very excited about, um, we're going to have you know, a week or so together. Um, uh, I hope the photographers who come, come prepared or come open to expecting the unexpected, to, to avoid coming with preconceived notions 
of this is the story I'm going to do, or, you know, I've never been to Porto, but uh, I've always wanted, I've never even been to Portugal. Uh, I, I used to live uh, for a while in Madrid, uh, and I always thought, oh, I'd love to go to Portugal, I hear it's just such a beautiful country, but I have no idea what to expect. And, and in some ways, I hope, and this connects to, to how I do these geographic stories, uh, these workshops that, 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 that I do are sort of mini uh, uh, condensed geographic stories to, to, to go and expect the unexpected and, and, and to be thankful uh, and to be open, open in your heart, open in your being, open in your soul uh, for what comes to you and what you also give to it. Um, so, so that's really how I, I, I approach a geographic story. And that's when uh, actually the beauty and the magic uh, tends to take place. Um, it's when you deconstruct yourself uh, in order to allow the, the manifestation of the story to present itself in, in you know, I hope, and, and I think we all hope, the most purest, honest, um, kindest, giving way possible. Uh, it's a it, this question of, of how, uh, in the last few years, um, journalism, storytelling, photography in general, has been affected by pressures that, 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 that photographers and journalists and writers and filmmakers are under uh, in this uh, somewhat of a, a bit of a hostile environment that, 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 that we're in uh, uh, across our planet and, and in our own backyards. Um, is a true element that's taken place. There's no question. I don't think we were ever truly protected. Uh, I've just been lucky. Uh, I've had uh, my run-ins well before the last few years of this sort of uh, bubbling cacophony of, of discomfort uh, that, that has arisen. Uh, there's been discomfort for decades. Uh, a lot of my, uh, my mates uh, don't make it home. Uh, it's it's the, the sometimes the cause and effect, uh, the, the 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 movement that tragically can take place. Uh, but there's no question that there's there's a a growing uh, mistrust uh, that has occurred. Um, I was just reading uh, on Twitter today uh, uh, of um, uh, people, you know, and this is actually quite not common, but it has been happening. Uh, uh, someone in, in, in Russia uh, pretending to be uh, a reporter, uh, but is actually uh, doing something else, so to speak. And this happens in other countries. Uh, you know, fake uh, Twitter accounts during elections, even in the country uh, that, that, that I uh, that, that I live in, uh, and, and this uh, and, and, and misleading information, um, uh, twisting of information for uh, personal and political gain. Uh, and, and this has been um, growing. It's probably always been there, uh, but it's been growing in recent years. Uh, has it, though, affected the way I work? Um, I, maybe I walk in a, in, a, in a little bit more of a spatial sense of, of non-concern. Um, uh, I'm aware of it. I can feel it at times. But I always have always found that no matter who we are, no matter what we think, there is still some humility in people. Not in everyone. There are some, some groups of people out there now that, that are um, stretching this to the extreme essences of our weaknesses as humans. Uh, and, and, and all these issues, war, conflict, extremism, uh, 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 hatred, it, it is a weakness of humanity. Uh, we have, we're, we're born in this existence to love. Uh, we are born open-hearted. We are born bright-eyed and, and giving. We don't know anger. We don't know hatred. We learn it uh, in life. And, and that core essence of, of humility is still there in, 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 in all of us. And, uh, and, and I can feel it when it shifts around me. Um, but I don't 
to go back to your question, do, do I approach stories differently because of this? I'm a little more aware of it, but I, I still probably go to places that I maybe shouldn't directly go to. But I've been doing that my whole life, and I've always found that you're actually still at times welcomed. Uh, and uh, but I have had my 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 moments where um, it it can be difficult and precarious, uh, and um, but I can look at it in in the sense of of linear time of of, of, of spatial time. Uh, these these issues have been there well before the internet, well before this this sort of bubblingness uh, that, that that you had mentioned. Uh, feeling to be taking place in the last uh, few years. Uh, there, there is that issue. It is there. It's very tangible. It, 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 you can taste it at times. Um, but I don't find that, it, that I've augmented uh, uh, myself uh, um, away from it. Uh, I think we have, to, we have to exist within it in order to tell stories. Uh, uh, and now more than ever, now more than ever, we need to be storytellers. We can't run in fear. We have to tell stories, uh, all of us, whether you're a working photographer, whether you're a, a pianist, whether you're a scientist, whether you're these two women walking in behind me and now a third and a fourth going by. Everyone has a story, including this guy over here. Uh, we all have to tell our, our, a story. And, and dare we hope the narrative of that story uh, starts to manifest to connect this universality of all of ourselves, um, not in a you know utopian kumbaya sort of way, no, but in a in a in a in, in, in a dire need to remind ourselves that this is what we have, this is where we live. I don't expect you to live with those that you may not like, that you may have issues with. Dare we? hope that you can overcome them, uh, but we can be neighbors. We can find a sense of commonality. Because if we don't find commonality, what is the point of existing? We, we're, we're, and, and we will implode, we will explode, and we have no other place to live. So now more than ever is the time to find these connective tissues. And, and a very powerful way of doing that is storytelling, both in words, of course, in imagery, in moving images, in sound, in speech, in education, in giving, in kindness. Uh, because otherwise we're going to keep perpetuating the madness that we, we have been perpetuating. And we are a species that can actually do something different for the betterment of all. Uh, so, your, your question of how do I uh, enter into a space or a place, really a time, and a being uh, that, is, that may allegedly be new or foreign to me, um, it, it, it's not an equation or, 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 or a sense of consciousness that I, that I feel. Um, I, I don't believe in borders. Uh, I, I don't look at this place that we live, this revolving blue ball, uh, as any other place other than our, our being, our, our home. Uh, it's humans that divide us. Uh, it's ourselves that, that, that foolishly divide ourselves. And, and, excuse me, could I have another Americano? I need more coffee. Uh, but I'll finish this one here. And, and this, uh, the, the, this, this sense of going someplace that, that, that is allegedly foreign doesn't appear in my thought processes as being foreign. It's, it's, I've, I've gone to another neighborhood. I've gone to another place within the same place that we're all from. Uh, and, and so how do I... Uh, merge into an understanding of a place that I've never been to, um, I think it's this opening up uh, uh, of ourselves. I think all of us have this in our, in, our, in our capacity to open ourselves up 
to the wonder that is all around us. Uh, we forget this where we live. Uh, we, we forget that when you go to the ends of the earth, you meet people who think that you came from the ends of the earth. And, and we forget that where we are standing at any given moment, at this place, at the Cascades in Yerevan, uh, the, yes, I've been to you know, countless times, I'm already at the ends of the earth to somebody else who thinks that, 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 that they are at the ends of the earth, and yet we're at the same place. Uh, and so I, I arrive, as you asked, like, how do I come to these places, these locations, these, these neighborhoods of our collective humanity, and how do I try to understand them? I, I love getting lost. I, I, I love letting go. I love to... to again, to your other question of, of how do I approach these stories, is not come on an on a, on a organized situation. Uh, nothing against organized tours. If you like to go on an organized tour with following somebody who's carrying a flag in front of you that's pointing this out and that out and look at this museum and look at this tile and look at the statue, nothing wrong with that. That's a really beautiful educational element. But really the way to go and explore our collective neighborhood is to just start walking, use the feet, uh, use your spirit, uh, use your heart, uh, use your eye uh, and your feeling. Um, and you will be presented all these beautiful things uh, and, and all these sometimes painful uh, uh, moments uh, and, 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 and all these difficult, uh, sometimes twisted moments. And, and they pour upon you. They... they it's, 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 it's liquid, uh, and it's, when we're going to be speaking uh, with the photographers in Porto, uh, when we talk about photography, when I try to distill anything about photography, it's not about the, the, the sense that here I have a camera, right, this is a camera, sorry, this is a really powerful camera, uh, I'm not going to talk about it, I don't know what a megapixel is, I don't know anything about it, I, I haven't got a clue. I don't really care. Uh, but what we're going to talk about is what we feel with this camera, what we can create with this camera, what, what, what can be open from our spirits, from the, the essence that, that, that is the theater all around us. And, uh, and, and, and that, when you go to a new place, so in this case, the story that I'm working on, uh, I'm trying to think for this next geographic story. Where will I be going that I haven't been before? Uh, I'm probably going to uh, uh, Nigeria. Never been. I've always wanted to go. But I don't think, oh, I'm going to Nigeria. What do I do? I just I sort of use airplanes like uh, like a taxi. I have a terrible carbon footprint. I'm very sorry that I have to move. I can't walk there. I have to do a little bit faster. Um, uh, but... Uh, I'm just going to go to a place I've never been before. Not under the, oh my gosh, I'm going to a place I've never been before. Isn't this cool? No. I, I, I just is. Uh, but it's probably a place that I have been before. And every place that we go could very well be a place that we've been before if we open ourselves up to it. Because where we are is where we're all from. And, and it, that drops the barriers in our minds, in our spirits, in the way we see, uh, in the way we feel. So then it, it connects to this narrative of life, of living, of being. And, uh, and that's really the only way that I can sort of understand or explain your question of going someplace I've never been before. And what to uh, prepare or anticipate or think of. Again, I anticipate nothing. I'm just thankful uh, for what presents itself and what I can try to give to it. I'm very honored and, 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 and quite excited to, uh, to come to Porto to work with, a, with, a, with, with this very intimate group of photographers for seven, eight days, whatever it's going to be. If we need to go 24 hours a day, then we'll, it'll, it'll double our time. Um, uh, it, it, I, we're we're going to all come together. 
uh, in this beautiful seaside place, again, a place I'd never been before, uh, and, and maybe most of us have never been before, and, and, and that's really going to be interesting and, and giving. Uh, and we're going to talk not again about, you know, the, the camera, uh, maybe a little bit, but I hope an extremely little bit. Uh, and we're going to very much go into much more the philosophical, spiritual side of photography. I, I want us to go into our core being, into how we feel, how we breathe, how we exhale, how we feel. And, and in turn, that connects to, to, to how we see uh, and, and, and how we interpret our world and how we storytell. We, uh, we don't, the, the world doesn't necessarily need more photographers. Um, uh, 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 photographers are, 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 are wonderful. Yes, we need everyone to be. Everyone's a photographer today. And, and I remember a few years ago that that was a big concern to, to, to especially the professional photography world. Like, oh my God, everybody's a photographer now. Um, I just remember scratching my head going, so? Uh, and, and never have we documented our, 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 our collectiveness in the way that we are today hundreds of millions of photographs and films being created and, and published and, and presented. It's just astonishing. It's just exciting. Even this ability to talk to you here from, from, from Yerevan, Armenia, to, to, to Portugal is just incredible to think that we can do this. And I'm doing this on a phone. I mean, good God. Um, and, 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 but how we tell stories, because the world needs storytellers. Uh, 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 the publishing world, the self-publishing world, the communication world, the traditional media world uh, needs storytellers now more than ever. Now more than ever. And so in Porto, I, I, I want us to all come with, with as much open spirit. Uh, uh, deconstruct yourself if you feel constructed. Uh, 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 Take yourself out of this container. We're all in a container. I'm in this thing that I'm contained in. Uh, and and uh, you know, take yourself out of it a little bit while still being, of course, in it because I'm stuck in this thing that I'm in. Um, and, and, and express and find ourselves when we're in Porto. In turn, to find how we tell stories, how we talk through visual communication, whether it's the still image, which we're going to be primarily working on, uh, but also I want us to get into social media, which is really self-publishing. Uh, you will be sharing this, this, this chat that we're having together at this cafe that I come to all the time, and, and, uh, uh, and we're going to share it in this self-publishing way because it connects to communication in the most profoundest level, and it connects to opportunities and work. We're going to talk about how, how we... How we, how we market ourselves, but not market, but how we present ourselves and find uh, uh, actual sustainability uh, in, in the publishing world today. Never has there been more opportunity to create, uh, present, communicate. And yes, I'm going to absolutely say this, to make a living being a storyteller, a communicator. But it's not how it was 20 years ago, that's for sure. Ooh, totally different. It's not how it was five years ago. Uh, the industry, our business, our communication was different six months ago. It's different today. And in six months from now, thank you so much. Uh, and, and in six months from now, here you go, thank you. And in six months from now, our profession is going to expand and be different again. And, and that's the beauty and excitement of it. And that's what we're going to also share about, how we, how we talk about uh, 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 our interpretation of the world, how we present it, uh, both in, 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 I don't want to even call it new media anymore. That's so, you know, three years ago, like, oh, new media. Um, no, we are in communication mode in the most profoundest level ever. And it's only going to become even more incredible and engaging Again, in, in a month from now, six months from now, a year, five years from now, I can't even fathom what it's going to be in five years from now. It's so exciting. Um, but we need to open ourselves to this and engage to it 
both in the traditional sense, in, in, in book publishing. Book publishing has, has probably never been more giving than it is now. People want a, a tactile thingy in their hand. Yes, this is a menu. But, uh, you know, imagine you know, holding something and, and, and a tactile nature of it. A, a book is a, is, a, is, a, is a traveling exhibit, an exhibit that's always there in your hands. Um, we, we, and then in this way of communicating that we are, um, lack of a better way of putting it, consuming. Uh, everyone is a publisher. Instagram is not uh, about, here's my pictures. It's about publishing your, your photography and how we are consuming it, reading it, absorbing it, appreciating it. And yes, we're doing it on a glowing screen. And I think that that's great. And that's not new media anymore. It just is what it is. So we're going to talk all about that, how we engage in it, how we interact with it, how we work with Instagram stories, uh, because that's storytelling, how we're going to work with photography, uh, how we work with it in the printed sense, ink on paper, collaborating with traditional media, and how traditional media is also not just expanding, is definitely has already expanded into embracing uh, the, 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 the output of, of, of consumption and, and, and subscribership. Uh, through through digital subscribership, uh, it's growing like crazy. Look at the New York Times has over a, a million uh, uh, digital subscribers. It's beautiful, um, and we're going to talk about storytelling. So, all all of you that are coming to Porto, um, be prepared to leave your 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 preconceived notions. Leave them somewhere else. Um, let's go on a journey together. Let's get on a journey deep into ourselves. This is going to be spiritual. It's going to be metaphysical. It's going to be therapy. These, these workshops I teach are, are, are therapy. Uh, they're therapy for me. I learn from them, uh, and we all learn from it. Uh, so uh, I look forward to a beautiful, beautiful time uh, in September. Uh, and can't wait to see all of you in Porto. <laughs>